Hello, everybody. Z Games here bringing you Halo Covenant at War. This is a Halo mod for Star Wars Empire War. It adds in two factions, the UNSC and the Covenant. And currently, its only release is for Space Skirmish. This release came back, well, it came out last, 2013, and it has yet to receive another update. The mod team uh, is still on the forums, though they are active. And there's supposed to be a release soon at some point, or at least some new information, according to some of the recent posts. Uh, they're still working on it. A lot of it's been, I guess, behind the scenes work. And their point is to actually inv uh, include, eventually, uh, ground battles for Galactic Conquest. So we'll go here to single player. Currently, it, you can click Galactic Conquest, but the game freaks out and you can't really do it. So don't even bother. So they will go to Skirmish. Let's go to... Hmm. Do Hoth Conflict. Add in two UNSC players. We'll add in a Heroic Covenant. And then an Easy Covenant. I've done a few games trying to get uh, a good recording. And it seems like every time with the my allies would always bomb rush over there and take them out quick so it didn't really work out too well so we'll see if this will actually add to a a fair fight and accept that and we'll go ahead and start Alright, starting out, you have some long swords, short swords, excuse me, short swords, which are bombers. Starting out, going to build some of these. Choose your reinforcements. Underway. There's never enough asteroids. And they've already got a picket frigate. Picket, ah, uh, Covenant Picket Corvette over here. Build that. Construction complete. Construction complete. Well, I'm dropping here are a bunch of uh, rocket and railgun, like little defense stations. Try and hold up here. Canceled. So you can see they're already down here with their seraphs. Orbital command available. Vehicle in production. Ready for command. You calling for me, sir? At your command. Asteroids ahead. Get them up there. Build that. At your command. Plotting course. Gonna move them up. Move them up. I'm warping in here are UNSC Corvettes, which are basically anti for anti-fighter purposes. They're not very good against uh, heavier ships. I'm going to move them forward. So we can't capture that space station there. I'm going to move you up as well. What's here? Just a little sensor node. Alright, my ally is leveling up the station now. That's good. So I will actually go ahead and build. Some more cor uh, Corvettes. Our space station is under attack. Uh, of course it is. <laughs> in progress. Let's warp you in here. Construction Upgrade complete. complete. Upgrade in progress. Let's get our money upgraded. I copy, sir. Building under construction. Roger that. On my way. Right away. No good. Move all of our Corvettes forward a little bit. A repair station here. Try and keep our stuff alive. Maybe keep our ships... Health. Health? Repaired? Repaired. Go and get some... Uh, destroyers and some frigates up. Nebulon B frigate here. 
where are we gonna try and take? Let's upgrade some more money researched. More pew down here to the center. See, that was the uh, Mat Cannon. The Mat Cannons on the UNSC ships are, uh, you gotta sort of, you gotta micro control them. But their, their guns and the missiles will launch automatically. So what I have warped in here is Paris class, heavy frigates, and then in this mod they're called Mithlothian destroyers. These are now known as the Halberds. Previously they were called Thanatos destroyers and the Sins of the Prophets mod. Now the uh, the mod authors for both mods work together. Mm, excuse me, to make the mod. No, not really make the mod. They share some assets, some ship models, stuff like that, to help each other out. All right, so my ally took this middle one. That's good. Try and capture the rest of these stations here. All right. I'm going to go ahead and build a smack. Then, Athens class frigate. Unit build one of these. Reinforcements available. The smack here. Now this should attack the larger vessels. I'll go ahead and hit this next upgrade so my ally can build ships. Because <coughs> I have plenty of ships at the moment. Or at least enough. Huh. I control that for some reason? Building started. Space station damaged. Here's uh, one of the other destroyers that you can get. This is based off the one that you see in uh, a Contact Harvest, I want to say. Nice. Ready for orders. Ball out. I believe this shot and killed it. Smack platforms are just godlike. <laughs> they can one shot a lot of things, so you'll need smacks. So definitely build those if you get the chance. Ready for command. Keep going. Move the rest of our fighters up. Eighty-four percent now for our final for final upgrade. No, it should be level four. Yeah, station level four. Should give me access to some of the uh, larger cruisers. Yes. Let's see. Let's build us a marathon class. Calling for me, sir. Our space station is under attack. Why you all to defend that? I'm not sure if it's repairing it. Reinforcements available. It's repairing something. And they have a huge swarm coming in. Let's get a marathon up here. Let's get some more. Constructing unit. We want some more anti-fighter corvettes because they have a lot of fighters coming in. See, it does a lot of damage. Here's the marathon class. Getting bombarded by uh, ships here. Slow down. And they've taken out my smack platform, which is not good. Let's 
more of these up here. Let's get a Iliad carrier. My marathon's about to die. So yeah, once there's a <laughs> there's a line that you'll get to where eventually either you you steamroll the covenant or they will just absolutely build up and just take you out. <laughs> so you gotta be careful. And I'm getting to that point, the uh, critical mass. Here's the Illid class carrier. Nice, they just warped in a marathon of, of their own, as well as an Illid class. This is also known as the Athens class carrier and the Sins of the Prophet's Mud. Bring in some, uh, some frigates. And I'm probably not going to have the resources to bring in uh, much more. See, they're moving their... Uh... Oh, they got two marathons. That's good. They're making more money than me right now, somehow. Some of the uh, bigger ships. See so if we can't take this guy out. I'm trying to save up so I can get some uh, bigger ships. I'll get a Halcyon cruiser here in a second. Nice, so they both got their max off on it. Good. Oh, it's disappeared. I don't know if it's stealth itself or... Sometimes the Covenant ships will just disappear. I'm not certain why. Let's get a Halcyon. When you stop here. Don't move too far forward. See if you can't hit. Nice, you can. Smack hit it. Oh, they got two Halcyons out here. Our Halcyon's almost built. We got another marathon back here. So my computer ally might actually be able to push them back. They're uh, much better than I am. I'm gonna take a look at the uh, Halcyon class here. It's a nice little model. Police fighters at the bottom. Got the guns on the side. Okay, free take in the center. The allies pushing up along the uh, northern portion of it. Station damaged. Ready. Asteroids ahead. Ah. Uh. Double front. Ready to commence. I copy. Destroy their ceiling generators. It's as good as gone. Leave so we can't take out that uh. I don't want to lose this asteroid mining facility. Nice. Mac got it. Probably going to lose it though, to be honest. I'm going to save up and we'll get myself another uh, smack platform. Focus on him. He's disappeared. Nice, my ally's actually doing pretty well. He's got a lot of capital ships out here. Fire at him. Fire at him. Another thousand, I'll be able to get another smack.
I'll get another smack and then I'll go ahead and save up for the next tier. It's trying to slow down quite a bit. Yep. I'm gonna get a destroyer past. Alright. This smack built. The all folks fire. So I, yeah, I lost my carrier and about to lose my Halcyon. He's got two Halcyons there moving in. Oh. They've got CCS Battlecruisers on the field now. Which is not good. Max are already getting lit up, especially by uh, the fighters. Crap. This Max is going to get taken out right away. Damn it, it's not even firing. Form up. Confirm. Ion the I don't know why it's not firing. There it is. <laughs> not even worth it. Underway. A single kill. From the smack. That's a shame. That was a lot of resources. A lot of credits to build that. <sighs> so a lot of the games you'll find go like this. You'll actually do pretty well at the beginning, but then you get slowly pushed back and back and back and back. So you get all the way back to your station. If the Mac wasn't microed, I think you could do a lot better. But as it stands, I mean, it's just... It's hard. Yep, now my money's coming in at a absolute crawl because I lost my station there. Just irritating, it really is. I hate that asteroid mining base mechanic in this because it's if you don't have one, you you can't keep up. Might as well go ahead and look at the Sharon here. And you can tell it's a Sharon class because the bottom right here, that bay, it's a lot thicker and wider than the Paris class. Sharon class is uh, the planetary assault variant of the frigates. Paris class is meant just for space battles. And the stalwart class has been co-opted in uh, one sense of the prophets to be the anti-fighter. Well, this one, this is your anti-fighter right here. This mod has a larger, um, I guess, troop tree, you could say, ship list, than the other mods do. <laughs> what that guy's doing? He's just he's booking it. See here, a short sword. Short swords are used for atmospheric bombardment as well. Well, so we're closing in on the end. Yeah, I don't have enough money for. Oh, look, he got. Uh, ooh, he got several. 
Carrier, Halcyon, and a Marathon here. Well, I'm just struggling to hold the base. So you're going to see the Archer Missile Platform. That's another Archer Missile Platform, I guess. Alright, here's the Railgun Turret. Yeah, it is. We're taking down the station now. I mean, this this match is over. Look at the swarm. A lot of destroyers. I got a Corvette there. CCSs. I think they're tier 5. So it's entirely possible that we may see some of the big, big capital ships. Like the CASs on the field. All we got to is the Marathons. The Halcyons. Space is just taking serious damage. Orbital command available. This model, actually, I believe, is the hangar bay for the UNSC and Sins of the Prophets. I don't think they've replaced the model for that yet. And it deploys Sabres. Saber Project Hangar, I believe it's called. <laughs> ah. Damn it. It's hoping to win. Show off my tactical prowess, but nope, not this time. This mod's hard. Uh, it's been a debate of whether it's too hard or too uh, unbalanced. Like I said, I mean this uh, this release came out in 2013, so it's entirely possible they've rebalanced it since. And there it is. There's the defeat. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, the combat screen after this. See what we lost. If it ever cuts to it, I don't know if it's going to. There it is. Alright. So, very uneven battle, as you can tell. Our losses was 86 long sword squadrons. 86. 79 short swords. We lost a marathon. 16 corvettes. One Sharon. An Iliad Halcyon. Five Paris class. Two Midlothians. Another 16 Corvettes down here. Another Halcyon. Two Smacks compared to their four SDVs. 35 Covenant Pickets. Nah, that can't be right. They lost a few Destroyers. I know they did. So I guess it was just too much. It lost count. But yeah. Very uneven. Only 20 minutes for this battle. <laughs> we have lost Harvest. They have pushed us back. Yeah, uh, I recommend downloading it. It's not that big of a file. It's like, I want to say like 250 megabytes. Not too much. Uh, just keep an eye on the mod. I am super excited for uh, Cloud the Conquest. I'm hoping they release that soon. Because, I don't know, it'd, just, it'd be so much fun, I think. Desperate fights in space and then desperate land battles. Trying to stem the tide of the Covenant. You can find this over on ModDB. I will include a link in the description below. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe for more, and I will see you guys next time.